graphics card and Blu-ray 3D uh, recorder. Well, we gotta get that little tab out there. I won't film that because I might have a hard time. <laughs> that little bugger was not that easy to take out. In the expansion bay, install the old Blu-ray disc layer. I'll be able to record on CD, 3D. Once I get the authoring from the program, that could probably be expensive as well. Slide wires plugged in. Three tabs here to take the front cover off. Put the uh, Blu-ray player in. There it is. Pretty easy once you figure it out. Being installed. Goes in that slot. Looks like it lines right up. And make sure you plug in your slide wires before you do that. It's a lot easier. There's a the power fire wire. It supplies screws, but there's a uh, quick connector which holds it in the proper position. Now, uh, the graphics card, the 3D graphics card, because I got a Blu ray 3D player and recorder once I get the software. Okay, I'm just looking around the graphics card that's in there. It's got the NVIDIA 540. I'm putting a 430 card in there for 3D. And I got my gloves on. And I got a staticky uh, plastic cover in my office, so I need, need to protect against static. I've got two monitors, so I've uh, unplugged both. Got screwed out. Okay, there that's there. They want to top drop music out, windows down, G's up. They want to top drop music out, windows down, G's up. They want to top drop music out, windows down, G's up. Wait, the uh, parasite. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> That's got to plug in. Blu-ray, no SAT 1, SAT 2, SAT 3, and 4. Which adapter I'm going to use? Looks like they've supplied a proper adapter for an expansion, so that's good. I don't know how the 3D is going to work on here, but we'll find it. Three monitors for my office computer. Nope. Something better. <laughs> it was easy, everybody would be doing it, man. Eh? 